bust the data is that cold recruitment has dipped this year uh, for uh, More than it's dipped every year for the last five years? That I don't know. Mm. It, appears so, to, yeah, so. yeah, it appears to be, but I don't have any solid longitudinal data to be able to say. Because Ireland's ridden a bit of a wave. It's so. ridden a very strong wave, and it's just taken a very big kick as well. So we've had a serious dip. I think the biggest dip in stock market values in Europe was in Ireland, and the construction no, sector, that's collapsed. Acquisition in Ireland has been doing incredibly well five to three years ago. It would have, yeah, and it would have been a, a better return than the UK would have been getting in terms of acquisition. So whether it's simply a settling down to a more typical level or whether there's been a, a noticeable break put on uh, mail recruitment, I'm not sure. But what we're finding is that uh, donor mail, uh, warm mail files, are holding up both in terms of average gift and uh, uh, response rates. Uh, okay. that's, that's very useful. So yeah. Thank you very much. As, sorry, one question, oh. Daryl. Uh, any tactics that people might have in terms of making the cold recruitment work better during the during the recession. It's quite a lot of the white paper. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Yes, look, any, any, anybody else here in the audience who's got some ideas how <laughs> cold recruitment can be improved during hard times? Anybody got experience, ideas, thoughts? Preferably real experience. I suppose just to put that in context, there's, there's, there's definitely a sense among a lot of our clients that you know asking for less uh, rather than you know higher lower entry level gifts rather than higher is, is something to think about and I'm just wondering whether that's maybe but that's about the negotiations isn't it? I, I think that 